Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime, my name is Jake and today we are going to be looking at the subreddit r slash entitled parents. So let's sit back relax and enjoy some reddit stories. Entitled mother threatened to call the police on me for faking a disease. At the time this happened I was 14, I'm 16 now. I have a bone condition, hip dysplasia, thigh bone slightly shifted, which causes me to walk with my feet turned slightly inwards. I always try to walk normally, but when I'm tired or exhausted, I don't give a dang anymore and walk how my condition forces me to. Also, after walking long distances, my hips and knees hurt pretty bad, so then I don't walk normally too. Anyways, onto the story. I was taking a walk around a nearby lake that I live at. I wasn't particularly tired, but my hips and knees started to hurt from walking a long distance. So, I stopped walking normally. As I walked past the playground, I heard a loud gasp. Entitled mother walked towards me with a red face and proceeded to yell at me. Stop walking like that! You're traumatizing my child! I politely tried to explain that I have a bone condition and that I'm in pain and I couldn't walk normally, but she didn't want to hear any of that. You're probably faking it to get attention and to traumatize my precious angel. I've never heard of a condition like that. Entitled mother then proceeded to kick my feet into the correct position and I took a few steps back and yelled, Lady, what the heck do you think you're doing? I'll call the police on you if you try to do that again. Entitled mother grins smugly. No, I'm going to call the cops on you for faking a disease and trying to traumatize my daughter. Ah, <sighs> I'm not faking anything. Also, your daughter doesn't care about how I walk. Now leave me the heck alone. The embarrassed kid was playing the whole time and didn't look over to us until we got louder. The embarrassed kid noticed the commotion, waddled towards us and tucked on her mother's shirt and asked her to leave me alone. Entitled mother turned to her and said in the sweetest voice, Go back to the playground dear, I'm only having a talk with this young lady, she needs to learn some manners. I sighed and started to walk away when entitled mother screeched, Where do you think you're going? I'm going home, I don't want to deal with your BS, I replied. First the entitled mother wanted to follow me, but the embarrassed kid clung to her leg and begged her to just go home. That girl probably wasn't older than 7 or 8, but she had more common sense than her mother, SMH. I'm sorry, but how is walking inwards gonna traumatize a child at all? <laughs> Entitled mother wanted her daughter to be part of her new family. It's a story from an old acquaintance of mine. Entitled mother had an unwanted pregnancy. Her partner had enough of her and left her. After birth, she abandoned her baby to her mum and moved away. The baby grew up with her aging grandma and had no contact with entitled mother until she was in high school. Entitled mother came back and wanted to take her baby, now a teenager, back. Let's call her D. D was so excited to meet Entitled mother. Entitled mother showered her with gifts to compensate for the last 16 years she missed, but it did not last long, not even a week, before she revealed she has a new family, a husband and a young kid who did not know D exists. Now, Entitled Mother wants to bring Dee back with her to be part of her new family. She needed someone she can trust to take care of her kid while both she and her husband work. Who else is best fit for the role of the nanny than your own daughter, right? She offered her to stay with them and she promised to support her daily needs and to provide a better living condition. Entitled mother's husband's wealthier than her aging mum, but she had to stop schooling and become a full-time nanny. What's worse is that she must not reveal her true story to Entitled mother's husband nor her stepbrother. Why can't you understand? I'm just doing it for your own good. I wanted you back in my life so we can all catch up the things I missed from your life. But you don't want to be my mom. You just want a nanny for free. 
Don't you dare speak up to me like that. You should be grateful that I gave birth to you. You wouldn't be living if not because of my mistake. Mistake? I wished you should have just got rid of me. If that's what you wanted, then you are qualified to be my daughter. At this point, Dee's grandma stepped in and of course sided with Dee. They got into more heated arguments, blaming each other for wrong decisions and old family feuds. But in the end, the grandma got so furious with her own daughter. If that's how you want to treat your family, then you are no longer my daughter too. Get out of here and never come back. Don't bother us again. Then sent her away. Dee once told us this story lightheartedly when we were having some conversation with some classmates. Though I can't remember how the topic opened up, but most of them tried to pitch in with ways she can take advantage of the situation for herself. That's horrible. Don't we have laws that force your mum to pay child support? You're still a minor, you know. You could squeeze out some cash. Why don't you try and blackmail your mum? Threaten her that you'll reveal her secrets to her husband. Guys, what are you talking about? I don't have a mum, remember? I think Dee just chose not to have any relations with Entitled Mother whatsoever. The way she told this story was like she was telling a mundane thing from her life. Totally normal, and no hint that she wanted any pity. It didn't occur to me back then the gravity of her situation, and didn't even bother to say any words of support for her. I'm a horrible person too, but her story got stuck with me somehow. I don't think they're a horrible person for that, like there's no way she could have known about her situation, and I mean, who wouldn't be shocked that a mother would just leave their daughter uh, only to demand to be a free babysitter, that's just crazy. Entitled father demands my fiancé stop taking his epilepsy medication, threatens to call the police and sue us for emotional trauma. Some context. My fiancé has suffered from severe epilepsy since 8 hours old. Doctors thought it was a phase and he'll grow out of it. Took him to have a tonic-clonic seizure when he was 10 to get the right treatment and medication for it. Now since that is out the way, let's get the main reason why we're here. The entitled parent. My fiancé and I were in our local shopping centre, just hanging out in the food court with my sister and brother-in-law. When the alarm for my fiancé to take his medication went off. Please know he needs to set an alarm in the morning and night because he tends to forget when to take them unless I remind him. I pulled out the little Webster package that his medication comes in to discreetly hand him the tablets. Now, Webster packs are noisy little things and would let out a pop like someone popping a plastic bag. This must have been when we gained the attention of the curious child and her entitled father. Excuse me, but can you not do that? We all looked at the man, confusion on our faces. He must have realised that, so he added on to his demand. Take those in front of my child. You mean my epilepsy medication? My fiancé spoke up, sounding a little defensive. He doesn't like to have to take his medication, but knows the high risks if he doesn't. Yes. Uh, no, my fiancé replied, and proceeded to continue taking the tablets. That was when it happened. How dare you speak to me that way? I asked you as nicely as possible to not take those. I bet you don't have epilepsy. That was when my brother-in-law spoke up, as he witnessed him having several seizures in the past. And how dare you judge a person for taking something that can prevent themselves from ending up in the hospital. He does have epilepsy, as we all witnessed him having seizures in the past. Don't you dare speak to me, you blank. I demand that you stop taking them, or I'll call the police. We all decided to just leave the food court as high stressful situations will make my fiancé have a seizure. The entitled father still going off his head at us to the point security was called and he was escorted out with his daughter. Why should I have to leave? They're the problem of this generation. Oh, I should sue for emotional trauma. 
he still continued to yell at us while getting escorted out. After a few minutes, the same security guards returned and apologized for not stepping in sooner as they had another incident. Different entitled parent earlier, which resulted in the police being called. They asked us if we are okay. After a few minutes of being outside and a cigarette later, we were all ready to continue on with our shopping. Hopefully, we don't see the entitled guy again, but knowing my luck, we might, considering our town is small. That's crazy how security was dealing with another entitled person as well. Like, how many of these people are there? So, what did you tell her? I would like to start this post off with some background. My mother groomed my brothers and I to cater to her. We were her three little butlers. She also refused to teach my brothers any form of life skills so they would stay dependent on her. Seriously, each of them didn't even get a job till their 30s when they met their current spouses. I, on the other hand, was on the opposite spectrum. I was told to get a job at 16, and the moment I started making money, I had to pay my mother's bills. Started off small, but once I landed a good job, it got bad. Talking groceries, her car payment, insurance, rent, PGE, etc. When I landed that good job, my mum quit hers and told me she had taken care of me my whole life and it was time I took care of her. This went from age 18 to 21. I lived with my mother and couldn't save money to move out because all the household bills were overwhelming. I was breaking even. My now husband helped me move. I was full of guilt and my mum tried everything she could to make me stay. From saying he would start hurting me and she wouldn't be there to protect me to telling me I had to pay three months of rent in advance if I was moving to say she was going to lose her home, car, etc. Not going to lie, moving was rough. It was one long guilt trip. My mother immediately found a guy to move in with and pay her stuff. She never got a job unless you count when she is trying to push Mary Kay. Well, this is a little over two years later. Her house is infected with black mold. I got a text the other day saying her house is going to be remodeled and she needs a place for her and the dogs to stay until the house is livable. I was telling this to my husband and he got a scared look on his face. So, what did you tell her? I said, I told her, dang, it sounds like the landlord is going to have to pay for a pet-friendly hotel until it's fixed. She made the comment she wanted to be in an actual home, not a hotel. And I told her there isn't room at our house if that's what she's hinting at. And I haven't heard a word more about it. My husband smiled and he was really proud of me. Turns out she's getting evicted because she hasn't paid rent in over six months. I learned this today. I was taking my daughter to the park and it's right next to my mother's house. I was going to see if she wanted to play with us and there was a pay or get out notice on her door. She was trying to weasel her way into our house. I am just so grateful for my husband for helping me break that cycle of catering to my mother's awful behavior. I just wanted to post this because I felt really good after being able to tell my mother no and then realizing I would have been screwed if I had buckled and said yes to her. It also might help people who are in my position now. It's not your duty to care for your parents if they are perfectly capable of taking care of themselves. Yeah, I gotta say good for that person. It's, it's probably really hard to break out of those cycles and, and try and do what's best for yourself, especially if you've been told that from a young age. So I'm, I'm glad they managed to get out of that. Entitled mother destroys my birthday cake because her son won't get any. When it was my 11th birthday, me, my friends and my sisters all went to Pizza Hut together with our parents. All who were invited to the birthday party got the buffet meaning that we could eat as much as we wanted. I had talked to my friends about the party at school a week beforehand and told them my mum had planned it out. My school bully, who we will call EB for entitled brat, would often make fun of me for stuttering and my autism, calling me the R word fairly often. 
As he was a douche to almost everyone in our year, same year different classes, we had decided to not invite him since we didn't think he deserved it. Well, as the party took place, the staff brought our favourite pizzas and even gave me a special badge since it was my birthday. While me and my friends were eating, Entitled Mother and her fugly troll of a son came into the restaurant and headed straight to our privately booked table. Why was Entitled Brat not invited to your kid's birthday? She asked in a growl at my mum, getting right in her face. Um, if your little brat didn't beat up my daughter, he would have an invite, but only a pig would punch a defenseless girl. She retorted, shoving Entitled Mother away from our table. You and your little brat aren't invited. Screw off before I make you leave. You swear like that in front of kids? You're an awful mother, and your daughter doesn't deserve to have a party if my son isn't invited. The manager is called out, and Karen is told to either go to another table and make an order, or leave. Karen screams about her kid being entitled to a buffet because he was invited. All of the friends pull out party invite letters, and the manager asks her to show her kid's letter. She goes red in the face, saying that she lost it. As this is happening, the staff in the back bring out a chocolate birthday cake with little stars and silver sweet things on it. I didn't know what they were at the time. And a number 11 candle sitting on top, both numbers lit up by tiny flames. Karen, seeing all the kids are excited, runs over to the staff and smacks the cake from the tray in the poor lady's hands. She stumbles and tries to get it back and balanced on the tray, but Karen grabs it and throws it at a far wall, splattering the wall with sponge and chocolate icing. I freaking cried. I screamed so hard that my throat hurt. My mum went over to Karen and slammed her face into one of the tables, telling her that it wasn't her party to ruin. It was not Brat's birthday. She had no right to make me cry like that. The police were called and Karen was fragged out, along with Entitled Kid who watched on as the chaos happened. I guess he thought he would get his way. Karen and the brat were banned for life from Pizza Hut. My mum took us all home after the manager told us the buffet would be free as compensation. Mum got a warning from police about how she treated Karen, but it was treated as defending us. She only got a few words from police, no arrest for my mum. The manager gave me a special pink cola glass as a gift before I left. They were a promotional item for customers who paid over £30 for an order. I want to know how they found out about the birthday party and why she would think it would be a good idea to bring the guy and be like, oh, he needs an invite. Ugh, ugh. Like, ugh. Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.